Have you ever tried creating clothes directly in Blender and you probably don't have the idea, the technicalities or even the knowledge of cloth physics and even how you can proceed with creating these things. Today we're going to take a look at a very amazing plugin that you can use to get very fast, easy and realistic cloth simulation directly in Blender. What's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're going to take a look at the wonderful plugin that would save you tremendous amount of time while working in Blender. The name of this plugin is Simply Clot and how you can proceed is extremely simple. So you know how you want to start making clothes in Blender and you don't really know what pressure you need to use, all of those craziness, you now need to take your time and forget about that because this tool would save you all the time. So with this all the way up, I'm going to add up a very simple plane right here so by default what we want to do now is add a couple of subdivisions and set this to simple and with this here i'll hit apply to have this there by default when you want to make clothes here you need to go over to the physics property and then add clothes this time you don't need to do that all you need to do is press n on your keyboard and with your plugin loaded in you'll be able to access simply clothes here select this which is the platform and set this as collision and I'm going to select this and set this as clothes. And that is how simple it is for you to make clothes directly here in Blender. So by default, once you're playing up with your clothes or you want to play back your clothes simulation, once you press the playback, you notice that we have something going on here. Now, what we have here is because we don't have smooth shading on. And most times you tend to forget about turning on smooth shading for some reason. Right now, you don't even need to use this part because there is a playback button that exists here. So by just simply playing this back and once you stop it, automatically you have smooth shading turned on for you. And you would also notice that right now, a couple of properties, a couple of modifiers has also been added up to this. So these are things that you can proceed to start tweaking if you want. But if you're somebody like me that just simply wants to get things going and just proceed with that, you can just proceed by pressing the playback button and get going with that. So right now, if you come over here, you can choose to apply this particular deformation that you have here onto this model and you have one thing done. So let's just proceed to do that. And I'm going to simply hit apply and we have our cloth model right here. So it's now left for you to go into, you know, the sculpting mode type to start sculpting things if this is what you're going for. But then I do like to, you know, try out something else. So the next thing which I would like to do is add up a simple grid. So with this grid, I'm just going to scale this all the way up and simply raise this up. And let's make this a simple cloth and proceed with doing some simulations. So I'm just going to press the playback button and you see we have that. The reason why we're having this is because we never told the tool that we want to make this a collision. But now it's a collision. If I press this and press the playback button, you now see we have something going on. Now our mesh is responding to the simulation based off the properties that it has. And one thing to note is once we set this to reset, you can actually change all the properties right here. So before we proceed, I think it's worth talking about clothes. So just in case you have no idea, several clothes have various properties. With this preset here, you can now see that there is a long list of cloth types or you know properties of clothes that you would like to work with so if i select the denim for example which is probably used for jean you would notice how this interacts and the way this interacts is totally different from how a creased cloth would interact so you can also see what we're having here and by the way if you also want to check out some other ones like maybe a stiff smooth cloth you would also notice that the mode of interaction is also very different so if you have no idea about how these things interact when you start making clothes or when you start sewing them you might probably run into not getting the proper kind of simulation that you want and this might become a problem for you and by the way you can also turn on self collision just in case you want to get that crumpled paper feel to happen with the mesh which you're working with or you want to you know get that stiff paper feel to happen with the mesh which you're working with these things are things that you really need to know before you proceed to making clothes and with a tool like this you don't need to know what these parameters are because you can just simply open up the preset, select either silk, wool, or even rubber, and just press the playback button to get your simulation going. So with this, let's continue with the tutorial. So what if you want to have more subdivisions? What if you want to get some, you know, interesting things going on? You can choose to add more subdivisions here. So right now I can set this to about subdivision of two. And if I press Z and move up over here, you can see that I have this here. And you can notice that you don't even need to go over to the modifier section to 
actually get anything going for you. So you can do everything right here. Right here is where you want to be and right here is where you are. So with this next thing which you want to do is press the playback button and you have a smooth, clean looking simulation happening. Okay, now this isn't the fun part. So all of the things which we've talked about, they look like fun, but they're not the fun things. I'll talk about the fun things soon. Right now, if you proceed to the section where you have gravity, you can choose to raise up the gravity of this however you want. So let's say I want to make this a minus one gravity. These things are things that you might probably spend a lot of time within the physics tab trying to get. But once you do that, you now see you have this going. I can choose to set this to one and I can increase the speed of the simulation and simply dial in five. And with this, if I press the playback button, you can see how quick, how rapid this simulation happens. You might be saying that what if I would like to implement the new pressure thing that is now available in Blender? And I will tell you something for sure. You don't even need to know how to do the whole pressure thing. Although we did cover that in the channel in case you want to see that. But now you can simply do these things yourself. And I'm going to proceed by selecting this right now and removing this from the collision. So right now it's no longer a collision and create a simple clot. And with this done, I can also click over here and go within the section and select whatever clot property that I want. So let's talk about pressure a bit. So if I select this and set it to pressure, I can press the playback button and you notice we have pressure happening right here so with this pressure you can still create some very interesting looking stuff so for pressure there are certain parts you might probably want to pin let's say those parts are the places which you don't want pressure to occur or maybe you want to get some very interesting things going on and this is how you proceed to doing that so i'm going to use this same simple stuff which you have here press the tab key switch over to the editing section and right here i would select a couple of faces vertices you know edges doesn't really matter all right so with all of these things selected i can now come over here and create a pin so i'm just going to click over directly here and you would notice because we press the tab key we now had a brand new window right here so with that i'm going to click on create new pins and it will create automatic new pins for us and with this i can click on the done button and i'm done you know i'm done right now and i can press the playback button and you can see we have some very cool stuff going on i can pause this and go over to this section where we do have our cloth properties and try to change them to fit into whatever we want and if this is not enough you can click on the advanced properties where you'll be able to deal with both pressure spring and also sewing so for the pressure i could actually say i want the pressure to increase all the way to five and maybe set the vector to about two looks fine so i'm just going to set this as it is press the playback button and now you notice we have this cool thing going on for us so with all of these things here i can stop this actually go all the way back i can stop that and i can still choose to say i would like this pressure thingy that's going on not to be inflated but let's say we want to deflate this inwards and by simply clicking over here where you have the presets you can shrink the pressure and press the playback button and you have this thing going for you so this is pretty cool once you stop this you get your smooth you know shading turned on and you can start having fun working with this and there is a whole lot of use cases for something like this things that has to do with density face normals how you can flip your normals subdividing your objects over a period of time when you're working within the edit mode these things are things we're definitely going to talk about right now so to proceed with this i'm simply going to select this and apply this cloth so i have this as a base object i would now simply create a very simple plane so let's go ahead and create the plane or probably we can create a grid so something like that scale this all the way up raise this up and make this a cloth so with this selected you want to see where your normals are facing and to do this all you have to do is press the tab key and go into edit mode so once you're within the edit mode you can click on the check face orientation and all the parts that shows blue simply means that those are the proper normals and the red parts are the improper normals so what we're going to do now is to make a copy so to make a copy hold down shift press d bring this down 
and in previous times you might probably want to start you know tweaking scraggling across different parameters trying to rotate this but you can click a simple button right here and you can flip your normals and with that done you can now attach or sew different parts so to sew your parts is simple i can switch over within the edge mode grab onto one particular point hold down control and click and i'll be able to select a certain edge loop i'm going to do exactly the same thing across and do something like that select this other one and continue doing things like this all right so with these two selected next thing i want to do is to come over here and click on create so and by simply creating so i can apply this and click on done if i still want to subdivide this a little bit more i can simply come over here and start subdividing this even way more than i have but i wouldn't suggest this if you have already sewn your object i would strongly suggest this prior to you sewing your object i'm going to unsubdivide that and click on done and by now once i go back and press the playback button you will notice that this part is now sewn while these other parts are not and by simply taking a look at this these are ways that you can start getting some very cool and interesting things all of the presets that you want to work with exist right here so the way your objects react in different situations they really matter and it's also worth knowing that it is very very cool for you to see these things reflect on your meshes rather than second guessing these things by yourself so i think it's high time we talk about density and to do this i'm going to bring out a very simple uv sphere and let's drag this bad boy all the way up scale this bad boy up and yeah so i'm also going to move this over to this side and raise this up let's make this a collision and let's also make sure that we have this as a collision and go through and make this a clot so if i press the playback button we get this I can also come back and set this to wool and press the playback button and get something like this. And by the way, if you still want to check what your faces look like or where your normals are pointing when you're still within the object mode, you can do that by clicking on the button right here. So what I want to talk about is density. So we're going to talk about density real quick. So if you want to paint density, you can simply paint this density by coming over here, clicking within this section and you can paint your density. So you can see how easy this is for you to start making clothes. So if you want to make crazy cloth stuff, you want to have fun doing these things, it is extremely easy for you to do these things right now. So with this here, I can also move over to the blur and actually blur the edges. You can also grab more of your density points by holding down Alt and this way you'll be able to grab way more points that you can use to drive the density. So if you hold down Alt, click and drag, you can also you know proceed with doing something like this and with this done i'm going to press the tab key one more time and click on done so for the subdivision i'm going to set the subdivision all the way to two and simply click on reset so i'm going to reset this so with this done you can still click on the density paint you'll be able to see the parts where you have density and if you want to paint way more density you can also do the same thing there so with this i'm going to click on done and by doing that i can now press the playback button and you start noticing that we have density happening right here so with this you can start seeing some very cool looking effects that we can get so with this you can proceed with making things that looks like cushion and if you want to make like a sitting bag or something then this is definitely going to work for you and some very interesting things which you can do now is you can let's go ahead and get something like that scale this in all the way up raise this upwards like this and let's add up a couple of subdivisions if you want or you can simply you know choose to use this and add up your subdivision so whatever way you want we can also you know throw in one subdivision level right here and switch over by simply hitting the tab key and with this i would also want to position this right over here where i can select certain edges and with this done i can simply create a pin so i can also choose to select active pins if i want and if you want to sew things you can simply do the same thing right here so once this is done i can now hit on the done button and switch to any of these clothes which i want and press the playback button and you can start noticing what we have i can also proceed to stopping this and this time i would like to have fun you know playing with the pressure and if i press the playback you can now notice we have this cool thingy going on and you can still choose to make a couple of amendments if you want if you want to proceed with you know creating more of these things mixing them together trying to create some very interesting stuff from here you can proceed with doing that 
And this is by far one of the coolest clothing plugin that exists for Blender. So if you want to get this, link is going to be in the description. So you can go over to the Blender market and also on Gumroad where you'll be able to download this. And it's just pretty cool to see that this tool on the Blender market is rated 5 full stars. And the rating is just super awesome because once you're working with this tool, it takes away all of the burdens and all of the technicalities that you need to have or things that you need to actually, you know, run up and down trying to Google on the internet to know what pressure things are. It takes those burdens away from you and you just focus on working on the art of creating awesome clothes. So go over to the link in the description, purchase this tool and start making awesome clothes today. And that's about it. I would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.